Good morning, Cambrell Marshall, KPRC Channel 2 meteorologist. A rocky Saturday afternoon. We expect we'll see similar circumstances today, although we're starting out this Sunday morning with visibility issues already. Memorial City camera shot, you can see kind of a hazy atmosphere there. Temperatures are on the warm side, starting out a lot warmer than they normally are and warmer than they were yesterday for sure. Galveston at 78, Hobby 77. A little cooler in areas to the north of Katy and Bush, 73 and 71. But we will have this unstable, moist atmosphere once again on this Sunday. This afternoon, we expect those storms to continue, start to uh, wane in the later afternoon and the evening hours. Monday, a decreased storm chance, but still there. So, something to keep in mind. Exact track radar looking at what's going on even as we start this morning, the five o'clock hour. Uh, showers and storms already, or showers at least, already in the Northeast Harris County and Liberty and Montgomery County areas there. Look at what's going on. That's the last 12 hours. Yesterday afternoon, six o'clock or so, really hammered here right along the coast. Also up in the Liberty County area yesterday, those storms going on as well as they moved on out. So, what we're seeing now this morning. Morning is right off of where those storms were going on in the overnight hours and yesterday, initiating off of those same areas that lay down boundaries when those storms finish up, and that's what we're seeing right now. So we'll continue to watch this area and watch the areas down along the coast as well for continued development throughout the day. Visibilities a mile and a half at Katy, a quarter of a mile at Bush Intercontinental. We'll continue to monitor those throughout the morning as well. Look at the wind. I want you to notice where the winds are converging and doing. When you see those kinds of areas, that creates an opportunity for lift. And where there's so much moisture in our atmosphere, when you see the lift happening, and you know what happened yesterday, we can still have that happen in different areas. Not everybody's going to get it. Yesterday, I got no rain on me anywhere I went, but I was watching off in the distance, and some other people are the same way. But where it happened, can be very strong. A broader shot of the radar, I'll put the wind barbs in there as well, showing the mostly southeast flow, but right in that area, we'll, st we'll see that convergence going on, so we see chances of uplift. This is a dry line off to the uh, west of us, and a lot of what's going on here is activating off of that big area of high pressure well to our north. The flow is, is clockwise around that, and that's what's keeping that southeast flow in. A lot of moisture coming in, all of that converging into an area that is a dry line that's off of there. So areas to our north have a a much better chance of having strong storms. Here's the uh, storm prediction center outlook for today. You notice we're on the edge of where you have slight chances of thunderstorm and uh, severe activity, and you go farther to the west and to the north, all along that line where that dry line is and that convergence that's going on. There's a bigger chance for them. Now tomorrow it shifts a little bit, but we're in a bigger area where we have a better chance for some severe weather as well. And then we go into uh, Tuesday where we're in the slighter chances, but still, boy, the upper Midwest is in a big. Uh, problem area uh, f pretty much for the next several days. Futurecast model, I put this in motion for you. See the showers down here and thunderstorms to the south, up to the north, all the way into Monday. We see some storms up to the north. But for us locally today, already starting out, shows some fairly strong storms off to the uh, uh, east of us, and we're seeing that on the on the radar a little bit, and then throughout the morning hours, we see 10 o'clock rain along the coast, and then by the time we get to 1 o'clock this afternoon, strong storms developing. These models have not been the most accurate, but it does show the chance for some of those storm activity to go ahead and get started, and throughout the afternoon, popping up, and then by the evening hours, we start to see it dissipate just a little bit and give us a little break for the evening hours. Strawberry Festival going on the last day of that today, 10 o'clock, 78, 86, mid-80s for your high temperature, thunderstorm chances happening throughout the afternoon. If you look at the 10-day forecast, I've got this in there. I'd say 40 to 50 percent chance on Sunday, 30 to 40 percent chance on Monday, 20 percent chance on Tuesday. I've taken it out on Wednesday. Give us a little bit of a break. But it's back in the forecast toward the end of the week as well, going to the weekend. That uh, Saturday and Sunday, those are what I call chicken 20s. Uh, we put that in. We got so much rain around and the long term forecast. Have some chances in there. Memorial Day, not much of a chance at this point, but that could change. Uh, oh, no, I, I've got one chance for 90 degrees, although it certainly could happen between now and then. But mid to upper 80s, the high temperatures along the way. Enjoy.